Hey, are you ready to open your online store with Squarespace? I'm giving you all the quickest and easiest steps to open in a day. And if you stick around until the end, I'm giving you all the most asked questions I had in two years of my store, all yours to swipe. And for all the details about your creative business and launching new projects, just make sure you subscribe and you ring the bell so you don't miss any new episodes coming out every Sunday. I'm Roberta West and I'm the creative behind Shop Romanticist, the Romanticist Studios and our Roberta West. And I'm gonna tell you my first online store. I opened in less than two weeks, less than a hundred dollars, no fancy designer, no nothing. And in less than a month I was collaborating with all sorts of beautiful places like One Sweat, Time We Pretty, and so many others. So that's what I want for you and I'm sharing all the steps I took to open my online store super quickly and it's yours in this video. So let's dive right into the ins and outs so you can open your shop today. Uh, the first step is clearly just open an account. You can have, uh, and you can transfer a custom domain through Squarespace, and you're seeing all my domains here. You can have multiple domains for multiple pages, uh, for multiple websites, or you can just have two different domains for um, the same website, whatever you want. But you can, you can get one through them, like this one here, or, you can transfer a domain if you have it hosted uh, somewhere else like I have with GoDaddy. So either way, you can plug in your domain, but don't get too caught up if you don't have your domain or your shop name yet. Just move ahead and start creating your online site. It will come to you for sure. Don't forget to sign up with a um, commerce plan to actually have a store and to sell products so make sure you do have it over there now back to the websites for step two i want you to select a website template so you are going to create your new site and you're going to pick online stores templates that's the easiest way. They have everything set up to optimize uh, your store so you don't have to do much. The templates are quite generic, but I'm gonna teach you how to customize and make it your own. But for now, I wanna show you a little bit about the templates and also my favorite template is Jaunt. That's the one I am currently using right here and you can preview and this is a pro tip for you always do a lot of research up front because even though it is possible to change your template once you um you have your store it's not that easy to customize a new template so i want to make sure that you start and finish uh, with your template and your copy and your photos so they all look very cohesive so make sure you check all the other pages, like the shop style that they have, the product description, like how it looks. Make sure you like all those different uh, pages that they have on the website, contact, news. So you pick a template that really works for your store, uh, top to bottom. Now that you open your store, it's time to brand it. This is the fun part, so I'm gonna show you how to do it quickly without a lot of time and effort and money so you get started and start selling so all the templates are pretty generic like i said and once you have your shop like mine here shop romanticist you're gonna have all those options i want you to go first to the design portion and the first thing you're gonna do is update the logo and title so if you have a logo image, this is the place where you're gonna upload it and also a fave icon to show on your page like mine here. Uh, if you don't have those items, don't worry too much. You don't need any image or you can just create a generic image for your fave icon. Or 
you can just write shop romanticist for example and it's gonna pop up over here so if I delete my logo for example and save it's gonna show just shop romanticist in the font that I have customized and I'm gonna show you guys next what to do okay so don't worry too much if you don't have a full branding suite it's more important to have your name clearly stated so people can start browsing through your products want to customize your shop a little bit so go back to the main menu and choose design again and you can go to site styles this menu has quite a bit of different options for you and it can be a little intimidating so I have a pro tip for you pre-select two fonts and three colors that complement your product packaging color and etc for instance, my product, the styling kits, are in cream, gray, and rose colors, and I chose website colors that kind of complement them. So I have black, a little bit of blush, and I have a little bit of a gray undertone to all my photos. A little hack to narrow down the options even further is to click on one portion of your website that you're trying to update or um, change and then only the styles are the options that change that portion of your website is going to show on the left portion so it's a lot easier to find what you want to show for example like if i touch only the header layout for the logo for example only the logo options and that's a lot less that you're going to see here so you can choose the spacing for example for the header layout you can choose like how thick it is left right and then the fonts like I said if you do have already the the selected fonts like I have Playfair display for example it's a lot easier you just find the fonts that are either title fonts or they're more body fonts and plug it right here um, because not necessarily is going to come with the fonts that do you that are part of your branding okay so let's take a break here and i want to hear from you write down on the comments what's holding you back what is the problem like are you feeling that it's too stressful or the process is too complicated or is a money thing what's holding you back from opening your online shop i really want to hear and i want to talk to you about it write down in the comments below congratulations you're officially a store owner and now it's really time to add your products to your new store first you're gonna create a product page so go back to the main menu pages and you're gonna see a few options whether you want to put this page on the primary navigation right here or a secondary navigation a footer or not linked for this purpose, I'm going to add a not linked page and you create and you can create all sorts of different layouts. But for what we're doing to add new products, I'm going to choose products. So once I'm here, I'm going to name it YouTube goodies to because I already created one when I was practicing for this video. OK, I named my page and here we are. So it's an empty page, you don't see anything. What you're gonna do is start populating the products that are relevant to that page. So think about that page as a way to sort your product line. So try to organize them in pages and put like to like in them. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to um, add them to your main page and etc. So let's create a product here. Uh, once you click the plus sign, you're gonna have to select a product type. So you can have a physical, digital, or service. Also the option of gift card, but as you can see here, is just for the premium uh, memberships or premium feature. So if you're trying to use those products, you will have to get, get a premium membership for it. Okay, so let's try a physical product. So once you open the physical product menu, you have all the items here. So I'm gonna do it really fast so you can see how to upload all this information.
Okay, so that was easy. Uh, but I want to take a little bit more time on the pricing and variance because I think this is a little confusing if you're just starting out. So when you're going to put the price of your item, you're going to have to list uh, a few other items. For example, uh, how many you have in stock and the way of it because most of the shipping is shipping price is based on weight and also the dimensions so that's all to calculate the shipping uh, that information does not show for the customer you do have to list what is the size and the weight if it's relevant for your for your uh, product but you do have to list here so it calculates shipping for you um, and you can set any price. You can set, for example, a hundred dollars, not a thousand. And then you can say your sale price is eighty. You might not be 80, having a sales anymore, but when you do want to have a sale, you just click on sale, and then that's gonna show. It's pretty neat. Okay, so you can put. I have a stock of ten, and it weighs four pounds and the length is I think I said 12 by 24th by 0.2 whatever that is any ways whatever the dimensions there is but I also said in the description if you remember if you paid attention I also said that I have two different colors so here is how it works you're gonna add a, an option that is by color save that option and then here you're gonna put okay this item is the marigold color and then I'm gonna add another row is gonna create an uh, SKU number but this is automatic and you can change whatever you need for your second option but because I'm changing just the color I'm gonna put deep blue I think is what I named the second color so now I have an option for my customers which is the marigold uh, color or the deep blue color and you can add as many variables here and you can add as many uh, products within those categories as you wish this way pro tip here if you have a lot of detailed photos and different angles of your product and you got to put everything in here. The more the merrier, honestly, when it comes to product um, photography. So I only have one in this example, but uh, for my own products, I loaded several different angles, several different ways to use my product. So people can really have an idea of the lifestyle aspect of your product, like how they can use it as well as some of the features and that way you're really solving a lot of the questions and answering a lot of the questions that the customer may have and saving yourself a lot of times so now that the fun part is done you need to go back and set up the back end of your store back in the main menu select commerce right here uh, there are two main ones you need to pay attention. One is payments and the second one is shipping. I also recommend taxes. It's becoming more of a, a thing lately to uh, look at online businesses and what they're doing with taxes. But for the main purpose of this video, I want to show you payments. So payments in Squarespace are taken either through PayPal or Stripe. And actually you can have both LinkedIn and offer both to your clients as option to your clients. Um, you do need an account uh, with either of them. So go ahead and open an account if you don't have it. I highly recommend a completely different account for your business, a bank account I mean, just because or an account it can be your personal account but just something that is not connected to your everyday expenses because it gets pretty complicated um, to combine both so here it is you're gonna set up your stripe and your paypal link you can choose the store currency you want to offer and you can use test mode if you want to test the cart you can just 
turn on on the test mode and then you can do as many transactions as you want and test if everything is okay all right that's it for payments now shipping shipping is a great feature in Squarespace because they do take care of most of it for you. So you add whatever shipping option you would like. As you can see, there are two kind of in the lower range plan, uh, the flat rate or the weight one. There's also calculated by the carriers. Um, and I love this feature, but you do have to have a premium membership with Squarespace. But you can choose flat rate and it's pretty self-explanatory. You can have multiple day, multiple different formulas for it. But anyways, you can have per order or you can have per item. It really depends of how you want to do it. And here you, in shipping zones, you can add which countries, states you actually want to ship to. Now, pro tip again. I love ShipStation. I absolutely, this was a game changer for me and I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm gonna have a full video about it, so I'm not gonna go into details, but if you do wanna go ahead, this is a great option for any business. All right, so that's it for all the main items. Um, a few items I do recommend to keep up with the back end updates are a mailing scale. So a little scale that you're gonna actually weigh your packages, your items. That's really awesome to have. And I have a few I have a favorite of mine linked on the description. I also always carry, I always have a measuring tape. You gotta be very precise to the dimensions of your product. And that's very import important for shipping, but also to give your customers like the right idea of the product size. So I always have a measuring tape. Easy, huh? If you wanna know more about how to open your online store, check the description. I have the most asked questions my customers asked in two years of my online store and it's yours to copy and have as a swipe file for your own FAQs in your shop. And if you're looking for more support in opening your online business, I have just the right thing. My Facebook group is welcoming all sorts of creatives trying to open or launching new ventures and you are totally invited. So check the description and make sure you sign up for both the FAQs just for you and the Facebook group.